Hey everybody, my name is Teddy Sherwood here at Art Gambling Motors. I got my favorite truck I'm going to compare today. It's Chevy Silverado 3500 HD with the Ford 350 and the Ford 250 as well. I'm going to be comparing the 2500 and 3500 uh, to the 250 and the 350. Now first off, what this has, it's a lot better than those two trucks are. You got 10 more miles a gallon that's going to fit in your gas tank than you're going to get out of the Ford F-250 and F-350. I think the Ford's has 26 in the, in the, in the fuel tank and this has 36. And that's a great thing to have. Uh, but also what this has that the Ford doesn't have is a independent front suspension. And the Ford's got, it's a lot heavier and it's got a, a solid front axle on it and that's just, you know, not my thing. But it's gonna have a better ride and better maneuverability and that's a great thing to have when you're driving a big truck like that, especially a crew cab long bed. And another great thing is, even though I did say it's a crew cab long bed, it's also a lot shorter than the Ford F-350 or the F-250 would be if you get the big trucks in them. And that's going to make it a lot easier to park and maneuver uh, in tight spaces, which is also another good thing to have. And this also has the powerful Duramax diesel in it, or it's got the power scrub. But that's a debate that I'm not getting into right now. Uh, and another cool thing that this has is OnStar. And I keep telling you guys, OnStar is my favorite thing because it doesn't matter if you're driving the biggest truck, you know, or you're driving the smallest car, it could still pop a tire and you could get in an accident. That being said, Ford's going to have to have the sync with the paired cell phone to make that call. You, it already knows. So it's a great thing to have. It's a lot safer. It's a lot better to be in. If you guys have any questions on the 3500s or 2500s, just give me a call. My number is 888-882-3465. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.